Well, I can't say I've been baking pies or cookies or anything like that, but I have been preparing for Christmas, and I just realized, well, for this Christmas special, and I just realized that I forgot to have any Christmas music for us. How are you tonight, John? Oh, I am well, Jason. Thank you very much. How are you doing? You look great. Thank you. As do you. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Merry Christmas. We've got a really special show planned for tonight, John. You know, people have been watching. You and I have been collaborating for years now, and mm -hmm. it really is fantastic. We've been covering so many different topics. I think our regular viewers know that each Friday we have a sponsor exclusive show that people can watch on subscribestar.com slash I am John Cullen, patreon.com slash I am John Cullen, and subscribestar.com and patreon.com slash crowdsource the truth. But tonight we have an epic, super duper special. This is John Cullen's Christmas cavalcade of celebrities. And I want to make sure that people understand exactly what's going on because it seems like there's some confusion. We will have the real Kevin Sorbo joining us during the sponsor exclusive segment on Subscribestar and Patreon. Somebody thought we were going to be making fun of Kevin. I like Kevin Sorbo. I worked with him on a film and I've been following him on Twitter. I like what he's got to say on Twitter. He's obviously busily preparing for Christmas Eve himself. But I just wanted, John, I don't know if I even went into these details with you as far as how I know Kevin Sorbo, but in 2009, we worked on a movie. Let me show you this trailer real quick. This is for Julia X. It's not an X-rated movie, and it's a badly titled film. But Kevin plays a serial killer who goes on an internet date with this beautiful girl again and traps her. It's my pleasure. I haven't had much luck with these internet dates. Usually, people lie about what they look like. And he brands her with an X. Yeah. And she becomes Julia nice X. To meet you. Can't stay and talk for a while, huh? I really have to go. We're not going to cover too much of this film. People can still get it on Blu-ray disc, on Amazon and stuff. You should continue. Are you gonna kill me? And you can only imagine how exciting it is in 3D. People who don't like seeing violence may not like the film, but there's some real breakthrough 3D now cinematography in it. Yeah. But um, there was a write-up of this film in The Hollywood Reporter. We took the film to Cannes to the Marché du Film. It was never in competition in, in Cannes, but it was available for sale. And back in 2011, Hollywood Reporter gave it really an excellent review. The two most notable aspects of it were Kevin's acting, Valerie's acting, she was great, and of course the 3D cinematography uh, that was very well reviewed by the Hollywood Reporter. You can see right here I'm I acknowledged as the director of photography on this 3D film. I don't know if I told you this, John, but um, on the day that this came out in The Hollywood Reporter, the producer of the film bought a $10,000 ad in The Hollywood Reporter. I don't know if that had anything to do with the good review, but a lot of other people don't seem to be as positive on the film as The Hollywood Reporter was. You've got a lot of material to share with everybody tonight, and we want people to get a little bit of holiday cheer before we get into the sponsor-exclusive segment where Kevin will join us, and we're going to have a special appearance by the imitation Dr. Fauci. Not the real Dr. Fauci, the faux Fauci, and I think people are going to be blown away by this. Yes, I'm excited. Um, you know, it was very difficult to get faux Fauci on the show. And if you guys think it was difficult to get Kevin Sorbo, you know, you got to work with him on uh, Julia X, which, you know, again, a 3D film. And that was one of the highlights based on the reviews along with Kevin's stuff. But Kevin's like a big time producer. I mean, most people yeah. know him from Hercules. And uh, what was the spinoff from Hercules? Was Xena the Warrior Princess oh, was right. a spinoff of Hercules. So, you know, and he's huge around the world. He's another one of these guys who has global recognition and global presence. And yeah. so when he tweets something on Twitter, I mean, he gets ridiculous numbers of likes and retweets. It's kind of crazy. So it's great to have Kevin on the show. It's great to have Fo Fauci on the show. Um, but before we go patron only... I know there's a lot of people, it's Christmas Eve, 
that have last minute gift needs. And because mm. Amazon now has this thing where they have this instant delivery, you know, it's like you can just click the thing and it, and it shows up at your door within like, you know, a minute. What are you talking so about? So I tapped in. Oh, yeah, yeah. They have instant delivery. If you have Amazon Prime, you get stuff delivered like in an hour, you know, two hours. It's at your wow. door. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I called them up and I said, hey, can we work something out? They said, yeah, sure. Of course we can. So we've got instant <laughs> delivery tonight. Uh, so for if you have last minute needs for Christmas, right, we've mm. got the company store, the Cullen Industries company store is open and we're going to help you guys out. So we've got some last minute Christmas ideas here and I think you guys are going to enjoy this. So why don't we go to the deck and before we go to, to uh, subscribe star and Patreon, I want our YouTube audience to get a sense of, you know, what are some of the great last minute gifts? You know, uh, Kevin was saying, you know, what, what are we going to use? You know, what do I need here? I said, I got a whole bunch of cool stuff. So let me show you guys what we got. Let's go to the next slide. And I think we've got some great last minute gifts here. So uh, welcome to the Cullen Industries company store mm. gift shop. Right. Nice. So we got all, all kinds of people working behind the scenes on all kinds of really cool <laughs> stuff. And Wait, that uh, looks you know, like a, lot a of Chinese people said, slave labor yeah. warehouse. Oh, come on. Tell the NBA. Come on. Tell them, <laughs> please, 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 please. Come on. All right. So what we've got here, are all kinds of things. I've had these guys working, you know, day and night, day and night, day and night. And uh, we've got some really great gifts. So let's go to the next slide. Let me show you kind of some of the ideas that we have here for the audience. Because people have been saying, you know, in Twitter, ah, hey, John, I like right? that. Can we get some of these? We go by thickness socks, right? Really? So, yeah. So, what we got here tonight, we got the, here's the we go by thickness socks, right? Uh -huh. So, what you got is you get a pair of socks, right? Uh -huh. Now, they're not the same color, but they are the same manufacturer and the same weave. They uh -huh. look comfortable. I like and that. they and when you wear them, they're the same. They feel the same, right? But they're not the same color. Hmm. So according to some people, they're not the same. But according to me, these are the same. So these are the we go by thickness socks, and these are great for Christmas. You know, the kids love these, right? They can be rebels, hmm. right? Without being uncomfortable. And isn't Excellent that what gift. really matters? Right. So we have the Wego well. by thickness socks and we have them in all kinds of different weaves and patterns. Right. So here we have them, right. Different ah. colors, but not necessarily right? same weave, same sock. I like we it. go by thickness. Yeah. We go by thickness. All right. The next gift that we have, and a lot of people have been asking Ooh. for this and said, Hey, you know, Dr. Fauci doing the tests on the beagles, doing the tests on the monkeys. Can we get Brutal. a barrel full of monkeys? And of course we can. So this is the barrel full of monkey test subjects gift for the kids. Cause the kids love to play with the monkeys. So Dr. <laughs> Fauci's into this kind of stuff, right? So here we have the barrel of monkeys test subjects. And this is a lot of fun. So you can order this tonight. We'll get this to you. Now, another gift that a lot of people have been asking for are the crayons of the world from Klaus Schwab. And we happen oh. to have these. The crayons of the world come in every version of tan. <laughs> 32 Klaus Schwab colors of the world crayons. Okay. Yeah. So this is a lot of fun. A lot of the kids have been asking for this too. <laughs> And, uh, you know, there's no, there's no blue, there's no red. There's just a lot of different tans in here. Okay. So that's a, a lot of fun. The kids like that one. Let's go to the next gift. Cause this is exciting. Oh yeah. The, the, the little ones, right? So I've got three daughters and a lot of people with daughters are saying, Hey, my little girl wants the little Walensky play set, right? Ah. She wants to be a little Walensky. I want to run the CDC play kit, right? So all the little yeah. girls now want to be Walensky. So look what we have here. We have the little Walensky play kit, and this ah. is exciting. Okay. So this is great for, for the little budding CDC director. Uh, you know, you've got a four-year-old, five-year-old, six-year-old little CDC director, and this comes with inoculations in the kit, which is great. Wow. Very exciting. Yeah. Now <laughs> this, so this that's is like a, a legit story. Christmas gift right there. Yeah. It's exciting stuff, man. You know, that's exciting. stuff. the little Thomas Walensky. already ordered the socks and they're there. Amazing. Fantastic. Thomas. Just yeah, this, disclaimer. That's the drone. This delivery. is all a joke. None of these are actual products. We're kidding. Don't order any satire. This no is satire 
wrapped in parody. Exactly. Right? So this is kind of like, you know, a bacon wrap thing. So this is satire wrapped in parody. All right. So this next thing, this next, I'm very excited about because I've been working with Pfizer on this. And this Ooh. is based on a story. Oh, right? Teaching so this kids is, to lie to the parents? Well, teaching kids to lie is one thing. Giving kids vaccinations without the parents' wow. approval is another. So teaching kids to lie about it is sort of the second aspect of the crime. The root huh. cause problem here is that the Los Angeles Public School District has decided that parents don't really know best and we know best in the school. So we're going to vaccinate your kids, whether you like it or not. Right. So that's the game plan. Now, the problem is that there's some pesky kids, there's some pesky little, you know, and they're not getting their shots. And so Pfizer and the Los Angeles public school district came to Cullen industries and said, hey, <laughs> you know something or two about guns, right? And I said, yeah, you know, I'm trying to. And they said, well, we know something or two about inoculations. Can you help us develop something for these pesky little devils? And I said, oh, you mean like an inoculizer? And so we started working on this. And I'm so excited that on Christmas Eve, I get to introduce the Cohen Industries Pfizer inoculizer. Wow. And this is great because in <laughs> schools, right, the issue in schools is you got a couple kids. Now, hang on. Don't go to the next one. So no, the, the kids in the school. Oh, OK. 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 So the kids in the school, right? you're always going to have teachers. You're always going to have a couple kids that aren't vaccinated. Now, what are you supposed to do? What are you going to call the nurse? Get, you know, they chase it. Come on. We're not going to go through all that. So the great thing about this, I like to use Dr. Deborah Burks's language. The great thing about the inoculizer is that even if you have a couple kids in the classroom that are giving you a hard time, it's not really a problem anymore. Inside each one of these is an inoculation. And you simply load it into the device, pull the <laughs> handle, and you're ready to inoculate any troublemakers in the class. And, you know, the guys at Pfizer, right, they're really excited about this because we can use Comirnaty, right? And that's mm. great. Now, what if the kid already had a dose with the other thing? It doesn't really matter. We engineered it so it works with both. So here we got the Moderna. <laughs> we got it works with everything. So it's great. Now, we'll have you to want to see how Paul it works. Fauci the audience wants to see. Well, hang on. The audience wants to see how it works. So one of the other things we have in the store this is something you guys might think you know what this is, but you don't. This is the Congress Cares Bear. Now, you've heard of another part. This is the Congress oh. Cares Bear. Okay. Nice. And yeah, so I wanted the kids want to play with something that makes them think that Congress cares. Hmm. Right. And so you see how it has the rainbow. Right. Yes, so you know what LGBTQ that means, right? That friendly. means. Well, it means it'll have sex with anything, right? Like, Oof. like swallow, <laughs> right? And the other thing is, you know, you know, it's it's a like real swallow. congressional, you know, it's a real Congress care bear, Congress care. You know how you know? How? You know how you can tell it's a real one? It's got a fake five hundred one c three. It ha it has no balls. So oh. let me show you. <laughs> All right, so let me show you how this works. So let's pretend this is a kid in the school. And this right. kid hasn't had a vaccine. And it's like, well, I don't want to get a vaccine. And you're like, oh, really? And boom, and he's vaccinated. Hey. Isn't that fabulous? So the guys, like the guys at Pfizer are very excited about this. Now, yes. if you go to the next slide, there the are ultra. situations. Well, Pfizer came back. They were so excited about the inoculizer. They came back and they said, hey, we have situations yeah. where there's more than one or two kids. There's more than one or two problem kids. Hmm. And I said, well, how, what's your budget? And they said, well, we, got, we, got, we got some money. I said, all right. We're fine. What are you looking yeah, for? And they pretty, said, we need kind of like an ultra, set up. an ultra inoculizer. I said, all right, all right, let's see that. So we've been working together. And tonight I'm excited to introduce, this is the Cullen Industries. Whoa. Ultra. Heavy duty. Ultra inoculizer. So this is where you have a lot of kids who are problems. So you fire <laughs> this thing up, right? You fire this thing yeah. up. Is it working? Oh, yeah. Look at that. And now you've inoculated four, five, six <laughs> kids in one setting. Per second. Right? right. So 
this is great, right? Now, a lot of people are saying, what do I do you know, with the other problem kids? We've got all kinds of other gifts, right? A lot of kids want to play Fauci Farkle. Fauci right. Farkle. Well, this is the fun game. You guys haven't played this. This is uh, the dice rolling risk taking game. Fauci mm. Farkle. And this is how you just roll the dice and you take risks. And it's a lot of fun. Fauci Farkle. And this is really inexpensive, right? So this is where you just kind of roll the dice. Fauci mm. Farkle. A lot of fun. Let's see what else Outcomes we have unknown. We have a lot of kids are talking about this game. Uh, this is called Fauci is in trouble. You may have seen this in the stores. <laughs> Fauci is in trouble. This has got the, the popping thing here. And it says right here, there's more trouble in the bubble. So they know BSL four, right? There's more trouble in the bubble. <laughs> BSL four. This is Fauci is in trouble. A lot of kids want to play this game. A lot of fun. So we have this in the store. Then if you're not feeling well this Christmas season, we do have now, again, we're not doctors. We're not recommending anything, but this is an off the shelf product. This is uh, our downplay cold and flu medicine, and this is off the shelf. So if you think you have influenza, you know, H3N5, H10N8, H1N1, H3N2, whatever, you just take some of this and you should be just fine, right? It, it, it doesn't kill 50, 60,000 people a year. And so in America, you just take some of this stuff. And it says right here, right? It says downplay cold and flu. And it huh. says if you've got, if you've got, uh, you know, pain reliever, fever reducer, cough suppressant, antihistamine, all in one thing. And that's why this is such a great product. People are real excited. This is downplay brand cold and flu medicine. And hmm. this is one of the reasons why in America people hear flu and they think, oh, I just have to take this. Yeah, no, they it deal. doesn't really kill people. I just take this. You see how we downplay influenza? You see how we do that? We downplay influenza yeah. because we sell over the counter stuff and we say, oh, you have influenza. Here you go. Now, Joe, you we've only got about another 10 an minutes. And I know you have a lot of Christmas gifts you want to go through. Yeah, I know. I know. This is, this is exciting. How much time do we have left? We got about nine minutes, eight minutes, nine minutes. All right. So if there's any really troublesome kids that you don't get with your ultra vaccinators, right? Mm. We do have real genuine mace, right? And this is for the real <laughs> serious problem children, right? So if you just get some of this and this, this will help. You out. <laughs> all right. So, it's all right, so that's stuff, it right? for the, yeah, it's very exciting. Uh, I think that's it for the gifts, uh, okay. last minute Christmas ideas. But why don't we go to a couple slides and we'll show some people some things in the sure. news this week, and then we'll head over, visit with Kevin and, uh, and Dr. Fofauci. Very excited right. about Dr. Fofauci in the green room with Kevin. That's got to be fun. I, I'd <laughs> love to be a fly on the wall there right now. Now, what's not news this week here on Christmas Eve, John? Well, <clears throat> let's take a look at a couple of the stories that certainly are not in the news. Um, this next one. <clears throat> well, I guess this is in the news, but the FDA authorized a couple pills this past week. Um, but the but the next story, I think, is the one. Yeah, this is the one that uh, didn't really make the news. And this is that Pfizer's low dose vaccine has failed in the kids under five. What does trial. that mean? It, it means failed. that they said uh, what we're doing here isn't really working. We're going to redo the, tr the clinical trial. So huh. they're, they're revamping the protocol, they're changing the dose, and it's all documented here. So this didn't get a whole lot of coverage because it's kind of for the younger kids. This is ages two to five. Huh. And, and they're saying that they're low dose. I don't know if they want this for Christmas. No, but it, it, probably not. But again, there's a lot of people watching this and a lot of kids participating in the trial. And they're like, eh, this isn't really kind of going the way we want. So we're going to redo this. So, you know, this has been, been reported in a lot of different you know, major places. It's not really uh, controversial. Um, <clears throat> this seems to be the real controversial topic on Twitter this past week is the comorbidities. And what we're seeing again and again is more talk 
about influenza. We're seeing it from the Washington Post. Now we're seeing the New York Times. We're seeing everybody starting to talk about influenza. We saw a doctor this week use the term twindemic. Uh, and I saw that on Twitter. That you mentioned that. Right, right. So this is really kind of the punchline here is that when you drill in and you look at the data from the CDC, they're telling us that 400,000 people, just about 387, so mm -hmm. 390,000 people. So 400,000 people, let's round it up a little bit, died with coronavirus and PNI, influenza and pneumonia, PNI, okay? 400,000 people. Now, if you zoom back out to the title on that page, the heading, what the heading paragraph tells us is that 5% of the people of the big number, the 790,000, 5% of those people had just COVID. It says for over 5% of the deaths, COVID-19 was the only cause mentioned on the death certificate. So what that means is 5% of, call it 800,000. So 5% of 800,000 is 40,000 people. So 40,000 people died with just COVID-19 on the death certificate. 400,000 people died with COVID and influenza. Okay, let's review that. 40,000 people died just with COVID-19. 400,000 people died with COVID and influenza. And John, so this what chart that tells is directly me, from a CDC page, or where is this from? Yeah, that's from cdc.gov. Uh, straight, wow. yeah comorbidities and other conditions it's their data uh -huh. and this is from uh 12 12 it's wow. 10 days old or so and the net of this is it's their data it's their terminology and just as a data analyst when i look at those numbers the green those are the people that died just with covid19 on the death certificate so it's sars cov2 infection and they died the blue are the people that died with both SARS-CoV-2 and influenza PNI. That's the blue. Wow. The yellow are the diabetes, the Alzheimer's, uh, kidney any, disease, any COPD, all the other Cancer. stuff. Right. Right. So when I look at this, again, as just as a pure data analyst, not as an epidemiologist, I'm not making any kind of epidemiological claims. I'm making numerical claims right. that bucket B is about 10 times bigger than bucket A. I don't know about diseases. I'm not a virus guy, right? But I know that the 400,000 is about 10 times bigger than 40,000. I'm kind of so good really at that math. So this is where the numbers come from. So you said, is this, you know, this is CDC right here, baby. Center for Disease Control, Provisional Deaths by Sex and Age. So this is their stuff, their data. I, I, we can't get me, yelled at for disagreeing with them. I don't have an agenda here. Again, I'm not anti-anything. You know, wow. I'm anti-violence. Uh, yeah, anti-Fauci. Ooh, that's a very nice coffee cup or whatever you've got there. John, we've only got about one minute left. Is there anything else mm -hmm. you'd like to say to our YouTube audience before we transition over to the sponsor exclusive Christmas special on subscribestar.com slash I am John Cullen, patreon.com slash I am John Cullen, and subscribestar.com and patreon.com slash crowdsource the truth. We're going to be joined by the real Kevin Sorbo, and a faux Dr. Fauci. I think people can probably presume who will be playing the role of Dr. Fauci tonight, but it's going to be the real Kevin Sorbo. So fans of Hercules, fans of Andromeda, fans of Julia X. Kevin is a director and producer now. He's made a lot of faith-based films, and he's become, in recent times, very well known for being an outspoken conservative commentator on Twitter and elsewhere. So people are going to be able to join us in just about a, uh, five minutes. Take us out, John. Last word is yours. Well, this is going to be really exciting. You know, Kevin's going to get an opportunity to see some of the data 
that you and I have been going over you know, the last couple of weeks and months. And I'm really grateful for him, you know, to, to come on the show with us on our patron only hour. So if you guys have been on the fence about, should we join, you know, uh, this is the time. I mean, basically it's a dollar, a dollar and a quarter a week to watch the show. I mean, the, the New York times on Sundays, like six and a half dollars or something. I mean, it, so for a month you get four or five shows based on how many weeks in the month. And we haven't taken a week off since last Christmas. In fact, you and I, I haven't, haven't missed a, a show week off since <clears throat> 2003 or something, but you no, know what, we, John? We even with the show. New York times, even when people are mm-hmm. paying for the New York times, their primary revenue comes from advertisers, not your yeah. subscriptions. So the reason That's John right. and I have created this sponsor exclusive business model is because it eliminates these corporate sponsors who have an outsized influence on the content of the news. You are the sponsors. The viewers are the sponsors. There is no outside corporate sponsor. So become a sponsor and enjoy news that is compiled for you by us and you. It's a crowdsource investigative journalism model that is viewer sponsored. And I still think this is the best way to do it. This is why so many trolls and social engineering losers have come after crowdsource the truth. I cannot thank the viewer sponsors enough for helping us create this show. John, we've got only three minutes here, so people are going to join us over on Subscribestar and Patreon for I am John Cullen and Crowdsource the Truth. Merry Christmas to everybody out there, sponsors and non-sponsors alike. If you'd like to help us, but you're not able to become a sponsor, just email this video to five friends or family members who you think might find it interesting and anybody who wants to see the real Kevin Sorbo